of a Jordan High School student has the school starting off uh, a really rough time right now as they lost one of their own. 16-year-old Keon Hamilton was stabbed to death not too far from the campus. This all happened Friday night. New specialist Shelby Lofton tells us the latest on this investigation that's left the community heartbroken. Shelby? All day today, students have taken turns sitting at this growing memorial for Kian Hamilton. Today was their first day back to class after learning he was killed. Super passionate about the game. Teenagers sit under Kian Hamilton's baseball caps hanging on this tree trunk. They're a part of the memorial for the boy whose entire world revolved around the sport. He's a, a baseball for life kid and, and he was really good at it. At a candlelight vigil at Jordan High School Sunday night, head baseball coach Chad Five said the third baseman was a hard worker on and off the field. He's one that would come early and stay late and ask me or the other coaches, hey, what can I do to get better? His stabbing death left his teammates stunned and heartbroken. It's just hard uh, knowing how uh, how it happened. Um, that he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sandy police say there were reports of a fight in the Mountain America Expo Center parking lot Friday night around 9. It's near several businesses, including the 7-Eleven. KSL asked if they had surveillance video of Hamilton or heard or saw anything suspicious or worrisome. Employees at nearby businesses said they weren't aware of anything happening at the time. No one would have thought this would happen. Uh, going into the game Friday night. Sandy police declined an interview on the incident. The department said in a release, the ages of those involved in this case makes the investigation delicate and requires exactness and care. Officials have not said how Hamilton was involved in the fight that led to the stabbing. There's some some real upset young men that we're going to have to stick together as a group and, and get through this together. The lack of answers and loss of a friend has made the start of the new school year difficult for many students. So as a baseball team, we're struggling pretty bad. A police officer has been walking the perimeter of this parking lot, keeping an eye on this area today. As of this point, Sandy police have not yet released any charges the suspect may face. In Sandy, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.